Ok, special feature time for Catch Me If You Can. I was excited. I was thinking maybe this special feature is going to be better than the movie, but it's not. There is whole nother disc with lots of special feature. They are all crap. This movie is Steven Spielberg worst movie. Leonardo DiCaprio worst movie. Tom Hank worst movie. I don't like it. I like some part, but the more I learn, the more I don't like about this movie. Making of is very boring. Um, it is based on true story, but they're just talking to this guy, and he, they say, oh, he's so charismatic, oh, I can totally see how he could do all these things. I don't see it. He looked like weird, fat rapist. I, if I see this guy on the street, I think he's like, used car salesman, and like, not you know, drink a lot of beer, uh, he look, he's like going bold, they say that's why he get away with all this, because he look very old when he young, how he get all these women, I don't believe this, um, and he write his own book, you cannot trust this, how you trust this guy? He say he's con artist. You're going to believe his story? I don't believe him. I really don't. Um, I'm questioning all of this. I think he's fooling people. I think he's. this is his biggest con. Convincing Steven Spielberg's, Leonardo DiCaprio's, and Tom Hanks to make a movie about him. This, I want to watch that movie. That is better movie. Where is the documentary about how this guy fake his uh, life into book and convince famous people to like him? I want that special feature. But instead we have like, they're talking about why they cast these people, how this all happened. It's not very interesting. Uh, then they talk about the score. Steven Spielberg's really like this guy. I forget his name, but he's making the music for all his movies. The music on this movie not very good. It's it's like music for a different kind of movie, not this kind of movie. It's like xylophone and horn. But it seemed like it should be for, you know, sneaky something, uh, exciting. But this is not very exciting. Like, I guess he's a little bit sneaky, but not really. Um, then there is Frank Abagnale's Between Reality and Fiction. They're just talking to this guy again. He tell you the story from his own word. Um, I don't like him, so I don't want to listen. They, they, I don't understand why they believe this guy. I don't, I don't trust him. Uh, and then there is the FBI perspective. They have this real guy from FBI back in the sixty. Because this movie is set in 60. Um, he's like nerd. He look like he from Revenge of the Nerd. Uh, he have big, big glasses. They show a picture of him from when he's in FBI. And he's posing with gun. And he look ridiculous. I never see somebody look so unthreatening while holding a gun. He's like, if I, if this FBI guy tried to catch me, I laugh at him. 
I really like he looked like a loser. <laughs> uh and yeah, I don't I don't trust him either. I think all of these guys just tricking Oh yes, I used to be in FBI. Let me help you on your movie, Mr. Spielbergs. Oh yes, I I I do all these crazy things and write a book about it. The book is the truth, I promise you. It's not. Steven Spielbergs he trick you. This is not real. I don't believe it's real. Um and yes, special features not even that good. So I don't know. We need to watch better Spielberg's movie. I'm sorry this is the first one. But we get it out of the way, whatever. Um It does have good actors. Lots of good actors. Uh I guess Leonardo's not that bad, but he's better in other movie. For sure better. Um I think that's it. We will put this travesty on the shelf. It's not that bad, but it's pretty boring. Come on, guys. You're better than this. How you let this guy trick you like that? Frank Abagnale Jr.'s. Not even real name, I bet. Sound like another fake name. Old Oh yes, I don't even know what to do for song. I'm just a kid, but I learned to be a pilot, then a doctor, and then a lawyer. Have sex with lots of women, but I don't believe him. He tricks Steven Spielberg's into making this movie. Frank Abagnale's Jr. You liar. I don't believe you. Whatever. Not very good, but I'm tired. This was a lot of work. This is first time this feel like job. Catch me if you can. It's difficult. But whatever. It's done. Tomorrow movie, hopefully better. On the shelf. There we go. The shelf is almost done. Or first shelf. We still have lots of room. See you tomorrow.